So actually, when we're talking to other people and we're saying certain things or we're judging people or putting some kind of like light on them, it's because we see ourselves in them and be like, you know what, I'm proud of you. You know what, I'm not proud of you. You know what, this, and actually a lot of people take things very personal thinking, oh, this man attacked me in this way or this woman attacked me with their words. Actually, it's just a reflection of what they believe understanding is. What's going on everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Talking To My Thoughts, where we have open, honest and raw conversations about, well, our thoughts. Topics will range from anxiety, life goals, relationship, money, work, everything that runs through our head, so you know the possibilities are endless. You're here today with Craig Rivier, aka Mr. Positive. And you're here with Simon, aka SJ. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you're here with Michael Harper and I don't have an AKA, so just Michael Harper. MH, man, MH, MH. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking about having kids. I should just put it on the table. I don't have any kids. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, let's actually, let's just kick off with that. Who got the kids in the, in the podcast? Yeah, well, Craig's, Craig's on zero. <laughs> I'm on two. I'm on two. I've got two girls. And yeah, myself, I've got the one. One boy. So you already got a bit of a context um, about what's going on. We're here to talk about, I don't, I don't know, having kids. Obviously, I don't have any. So it's also about future um, thoughts about it or if there's any other younger ones you have in your family. Just in general, what kind of thoughts we have about it. Um, again, as you know, in this podcast, we're here to just have open conversations about just pretty much anything. And having kids was something that popped up in our head. Um, pretty much something that was probably always in our head um in some way or form so for me having kids um that's why I, I, I definitely want to have kids funny enough like mm. i'm an only child but i actually want to have about five kids crazy <laughs> yes, yes. trying to spread the along <laughs> <laughs> no but no but to one person one person. <laughs> one person one person but um i don't know i always i always i like big families fun enough my, my parents have a few siblings and my dad have Dad has several siblings. I haven't actually wanted siblings, but funny enough, I have won a lot of kids. It's a bit weird. I've never actually felt alone as an only child, but right. I want five kids, funny enough. Um, what about you, Sam? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I guess the discussion can deviate slightly because we're talking about having kids, but I guess we can also talk a little bit about parenting or like fatherhood and yeah. how it is yeah. being a man and, and raising kids. So that'll be an interesting kind of thing to, to kind of... Mm -hmm discuss as well yeah. um obviously we'll, we'll we'll jump into voice notes as well but my my little thing is obviously i've got i've got two girls um i had my eldest quite young um and it's it's just something that's led me to have a different mindset in terms of being a dad being mature um how it is to be a man and and growing up in a situation that's quite different to the friend circle that you have around you right um yeah. so it'll be a nice little thing that we can kind of dive into about that but that's me i think it's a i think it's a good conversation to have and purely because like, i think the whole pressure thing is a big factor in having kids mm. people that are around you will be the ones that i'll be like oh when you're having kids mm. you haven't got any kids yet those small comments yeah. will <laughs> kind of creep up on you so i think it, yeah i think it's a good conversation to kind of be having as you know in talking to my thoughts, we do just that. We talk to our thoughts where we would basically have pre-recordings of us talking to ourselves. And the reason why we do that is because how we speak to ourselves is very different to how we speak to other people. So we are going to kick off with Simon's um, recording and take a close listen and yeah, let's go from there. So, kids, parenting. Love, responsibility. It all plays a part in creating your purpose. That's what I believe. I believe having kids definitely gives you an additional purpose in life. A lot of people are driven by that. I'm definitely driven by that. I'm a family man, 100%. And I guess that was just based on the way I was raised my dad was around and he's very much a family man 
and it's just something that was instilled in me now i had i've got two girls my eldest who i had at a fairly young age so 1920 and i have to be honest at that time my focus wasn't on starting a family it was about building a foundation for myself getting my education in order finding a stable job moving out of my parents house settling down <clears throat> those are the kind of steps that I had envisioned that I would take before I even had kids and it obviously went the other way around but I would I don't regret it at all and I I firmly believe that if everybody were to take responsibility and be a man and say look this isn't what I want but I have to step up now and I have to be a support network for my family and honestly do the right thing the world would be a lot better place I love my kids they're beautiful I love my kids I'll do anything for them And I think the problem with a lot of kids, to be honest, teenagers, society today, unfortunately, they're searching for that father figure because that father figure isn't there. So they get into these criminal activities and they get into these situations where they're vulnerable. And they may not even think that's the case, but they are vulnerable because people are taking advantage of what they're seeking for in a father but they're seeking it in the wrong places and that's where people get into trouble so parenting is not easy at all i will not stand here and say look everyone should have kids it's easy it's a breeze yeah it's so great it's so fun but it's not just like with any relationship that you have with anybody else your relationship with your kids is going to be difficult as well and i haven't fully experienced it because my kids are still quite young but i'm here for the journey mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that angle like that was um that was really powerful and you you can feel there was a lot of passion behind it in the sense of the two part the two sides of the world that I saw was the one where you stepped up as being responsible and as you classed it being a man about it because you was brought up in this kind of family orientated yeah. way and the other side is what you what you see in the world is if you're not gonna step up what would happen <laughs> obviously those kind of things some of them are subjective there's a lot of different variables around why some people can't step up or they just don't feel they can or they're not ready there's so many different things but yeah. regardless of it you're strong about it, how you feel about it and what yeah. you believe your responsibility is and that's what we the main focus of it um i had the same family orientation like well me and simon are basically family anyway but same kind of bring up both mom and dad mm. um very strong with cousins everyone had a mom and dad actually i don't have any close cousins that didn't have their mom and dad together um in the, in the uk actually um so I completely understand like why it's so important to step up and do those kind of things um, and be a father about it. Yeah. And as you say, it's not easy if you have to create a relationship. So I completely get how you would feel like it's necessary because actually you're probably thinking when you're making some of the comments, you're thinking, wow, if I wasn't there, the amount of things that the mothers will have to do with on their own. Right. Mm -hmm. And that just, that just right. takes a massive repercussion. It has a ripple effect. Um, but yeah, I'll let you get yeah. into that straight away. Yeah, no, I, was, I was totally agree with what you said. There's both, obviously you've got two sides to it. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, again, similar background to you guys. Both parents are there and, and that's vital. Yeah. Like from a young age, you see this and you kind of grow up thinking, yeah, this is, this is what I would want, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, just thinking about when I was a child, all my friends, they, were, they didn't have both parents in their lives. Mm -hmm. And I, I could see the difference between me and them. Mm -hmm. So you talking about, you know, people getting into cr crime and violence, I, like seeing that, mm -hmm. maybe that was due to the fact that they didn't have both parents that were that male figure in their life and they're mm. constantly striving to look for that person so yeah like you definitely covered some no i think i mean i think it's it, i think it's important i think and craig one thing that you said was obviously if you're thinking about our 
But what if I wasn't there? What mm. what would the mother have to deal with? To be completely honest, just because of where my mindset was at, I couldn't even think like that. Mm. Yeah. It's not even a case of what would happen if I wasn't there. I'm going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, I ain't yeah, got nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Like, I have to step up. Yeah. Mm. There's not there's no two ways about it. I got to step up. Mm. Which is down to how we've been brought up because our yeah, brought up is exactly, that yeah. exactly. even when we had our I think not even just brought up like oh yeah, our fathers were just present. No, 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 no. For me, and I think for sure your is your like your father's for uncle as well, it was the same thing. He was not just present, he was there. Mm. He was mm. there. He was, was there. he was that hand, that back hand. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting. He, he was like way behind it. He was that that and I'm pretty sure with and with your parents, they act like units. Like with my parents. Knowing some parents like, oh, what do your mum say? Right. And then if your mum said that, like, yeah. I'm supporting that. Yeah, or yeah, would your dad yeah. say, that? I'm supporting yeah. that. Yeah. Your parents are the same kind of, that kind of one-time unit, yeah. uh, a proper relationship. And, you know, well, not everyone has this kind of strong unit and relationship behind um, parenting and stuff like that. But I believe this is the really steering drive behind yeah. what made you just say, mm. you know what, I'm mm-hmm. stepping up regardless of what it is. Mm. got to take responsibility of <clears throat> if I want this or not, if I had other plans or not. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I believe in because this is how my foundation is built yeah so yeah but this is a it's actually a, a value that's been instilled in you from since birth from a young through. age yeah. yeah and i guess yeah, yeah. some some of it i guess michael some of it plays on <clears throat> some of the things that you mentioned about there was a little bit of pressure as well yeah because as as i said and and as craig said as well is that a lot of the family around us they have that same unit so yeah. it's like there is that little bit of pressure to be like, you can't be the one person right. that's yeah, not going to yeah, be yeah, on the yeah, yeah, You can't yeah, be that guy. Be that Everyone guy. else is cool. <laughs> Everyone else has got their dads around or whatever. Yeah, There's no yeah. way you're going to be the one person in our family who's not going to be around for yeah. their own kid. Like, it's not happening. Yeah. You understand? So there was that little bit of pressure as yeah, well. Yeah, but it's like, as I said, because of that value and that mindset I got from my own dad right. and the rest of my family, like, that just wasn't an option for me. I'm yeah. there. It makes me just, it's interesting that you say that because... I do know a lot of my friends that maybe didn't have a father, but at the same time, I know a lot of them that did have their father in their life and, or have their grandfather, stuff like that. And it, and it makes me interested as to what makes it people not feel that pressure. Mm, like what is the, the tipping balance that makes them think I just can't do this versus I'm going to do this is, is a very interesting fact. And again, this is a podcast that's open to everyone. So we want to hear from people that maybe didn't have both parents or Mm. maybe they only had their father uh, or whichever one it is. We want to hear what you, how you feel about it. Mm. What do you think the tipping balance is cause, um, what happens in a sense or what, what makes you want to step up and even, and for all the people that are basically fathers but they haven't been present in their, ch- their child's life we actually do want to hear from you mm. it's not something that you have to you have to be ashamed of or feel yeah. anywhere about it because actually everybody's story is valid in yeah. whichever way it is and you know what some people end up being in somebody's life later on mm. some mm. people just didn't have the opportunity because the relationship was toxic there's so right. many different variables mm. and we're not saying that you know what you're not being there is like you're not a man you're a man the same way there's so many different things <clears throat> we want to hear about it yeah um right. And it's not, obviously, it's not for us to judge anyway. No. It's not for us to judge at all. As I said, for me, it's like, it's important that you have to be there. But if there are, there's always going to be a situation where there may be certain factors involved where you can't be there, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Or it may be a choice because of certain things that you've had to make that choice that you didn't want to make. Like, some people, (laughs) let's be honest, some people aren't around because of just their their mentality isn't there. Yeah. And... They may not be mature enough to handle that responsibility. As I brought up, it's about yeah. being responsible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially if you've had a kid young, yeah, you you may not be able to take on that responsibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to understand that as well. Is that people will have a different mindset? Is mindset. that I'm not re- fair enough. We can all, always slate people and say, look, well, you was man enough to get the person pregnant. You got to <laughs> yeah, step yeah. up now. But at the end of the day, <laughs> if you was a kid when that happened, mm-hmm. we can't yeah. judge you for not having the mentality to be like, I'm gonna take responsibility for this now. And you know the beauty of this podcast is that we almost skew what we believe our thoughts are versus what we tell the world. Mm -hmm. Because actually what Simon was doing, because Simon would never be in somebody's face, because I know Simon, he would never be in someone's face and be like, you're not a man because you didn't step up. Actually, he was talking to himself in that voice note. Mm. He was like, how he speaks to, how he was brought up, his foundation, what his core values are, he knows he can't, he would not be classed himself as a man if he didn't step up in the way that he know he could have. In a sense, so it's not to it's not to say that oh when he, he was playing it, it was saying to everybody that's not done it then you are not a man. It's actually he was playing it for himself because he spoke to himself. Mm. So this is the beauty of this podcast that actually our thoughts of what we see, what we speak to ourselves is very different to what we say in the world. And sometimes when you put out what you think in yourself to the world, it comes about all skew with like you don't mm. even know what you're saying sometimes because 
you're actually just speaking to yourself. And again, I always tell people this is one thing. Everything that we say or everything that we do to other people is a reflection of what we feel inside of ourselves. So actually, when we're talking to other people and we're saying certain things or we're judging people or putting some kind of like light on them is because we see ourselves in them and be like, you know what? I'm proud of you. You know what? I'm not proud of you. You know what? This And actually, a lot of people take things very personal thinking, oh, this man attacked me in this way or yeah. this woman attacked me with their words. Actually, it's just a reflection of what they believe understanding is. Because as I said, 15 years old, you have a baby. Um, everything just seems like, no, I can't step up for nothing. I'm just a yeah. kid. Da, 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 da. 10 years later, um, of course, I'm going to step up for my adult. But actually, sometimes that decision that you made when you were 15, for example, is very necessary. But you, again, it's a, a, reflection, a reflective time for you to understand I was growing. I can't, I can't put myself in two ways. There's no good path all the time. There's, sometimes there's bad path, sometimes there's good. Right. You just need to be able to navigate. But anyway, so I won't go on too long. So I was, gonna, I, was, I was going to ask something. So mm. do you guys personally know anyone that has children, but they're not there for their children like that? Mm-hmm. I do know people, but right. to be honest, I'm not very close to them. Right. Yeah, I know for you. So do you think you're not close to them because of that? Nah, or do you nah, think nah. it's like just... I don't... Out? I think the reason why I'm probably not close to them is because we don't share those same values. Same values. Yeah, that's, that's what And that's I'm probably that's why what they're not yeah. around their kids. Maybe right. because if they shared the same values as me... They would be around. Would like, right. Maybe that's just it. someone I'm. I know a few in my family, um, and they care. And funny enough, they care a lot about family in themselves. But and then I know a few that was in England as mm-hmm. well. Uh, the ones in my family, I think the ones in England actually both. It was the partner that they couldn't get on with, right? And the partner was making it long, or making things length or out, or the yeah, partner yeah. was keeping yeah. the kid away, yeah. or yeah. it was just so toxic. toxic so actually they yeah. had to they felt that it's it's they removed themselves entirely right mm-hmm. now simon saw you that he sees it as a relationship with his kids right he doesn't see a relationship with the partner he sees a relationship with his kids, kids. and the yeah. partner is also a part of it mm-hmm. but you know what if the partner's not there you know what i know simon who just be there for the kid yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's and i think that's what people don't have that kind of separation yeah. maybe it's too hard because actually technically in the court of law unless you're incapable mm. nobody can keep you away from your kid mm-hmm. they, you will fight for what you want and you yeah. will get for what you want in a sense and i think some people just don't do that as well right and for the people that i know a lot of them is like oh the woman is just too toxic or the whole relationship or the family or something like that that's what keeps them away yeah some of them choose to and um, they just feel like you know i just it's too late yeah. now yeah. Mm. but some of them are actually like you know what it's just too hard with the partner right. i can't i can't work with her in any way and then court is also something yeah, you want to bring course, law into it. You understand? Um, but you know what? We can go on for a yeah. long time. So let's get into the next one. Um, Michael is going to play a voice recording for us. Um, again, these are beauty of us sharing our thoughts in the rawest form. So go ahead, Michael. Yeah, go for it. Um. Parenting. Where can I start with this? The day I found out I was going to become a father. I was excited. Yeah, just super excited. Nervous. There was a sense of fear there too. Just fear of the fact that I'm going to become responsible for another human being. But overall it was just pure excitement. Excitement for what was about to happen. Pregnancy was amazing, smooth, enjoyed the whole nine months. Just seeing my partner transition from a woman to another woman. Yeah, fatherhood. But overall, the experience has been amazing. Um, I think each parent will have their own story. I don't think this can be written. I don't think this can be kind of read about. Your own experience is your own experience. Especially going through the birth, like going through that experience, it's each to their own. And personally for me, I just remember thinking, I need these two to come out alive. I need them to come out healthy. I need them to come out well. And yeah, that those were the main concerns during birth. There was definitely a big sense of fear when that happened. 
but yeah, it was just a, it was just a bag of mixed emotions. You can't you can't really prepare yourself for it. You just kind of go through with what you're feeling at the time. But definitely after that, my thoughts were were about the future, my next steps. What what am I going to do next? Do I get a full time job to support the family? Do I stick at my freelancing? Paying bills. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot to juggle, but these were the experiences that I knew I wanted to make for the family. I had to think about these. Because this is a new responsibility, it's not it's no longer about just me, it's about the family. Yeah, fatherhood. It's an amazing thing. I wouldn't have changed anything for the world. Hi. Go on, Craig's man. ready, you're ready, no, I know no. he's ready. No, no, no. Father to father. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. It's a heart to heart now. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Um <laughs> I mean <clears throat> it's interesting that as you said, the dynamics are always gonna be different and the experiences are gonna be different for everyone. There's no you can't just write a book on yeah. how it should be and, and everyone can just relate to it straight yeah. away. Your experience is clearly different to mine. But the only reason I say that is because, <clears throat> as I said, I had mine quite young, young. so my mindset yeah. is different. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's, 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 it's refreshing to actually hear. And just by the way that you was talking about it, I can tell what kind of man or what kind of father you want to be or are already. Yeah. Just because of the fact of you was already, you had those fears, you was concerned about your baby, you was concerned mm. about your partner, mm. you was thinking about your family and what to do for the future and how you're going to support them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. through the pregnancy, you was excited and you enjoyed it. And you lo- and it's like that, it shows you the place that you was at right. when that happened and then where you are now. Yeah. <clears throat> now, more so for me, as I said, I was quite young. So my mindset was very much, I was in a selfish place. Right. And I, I'll be honest about that. My mindset, as I said, in my voice note is, I was thinking about, trying to get a steady job. I was trying to think about moving out of my house. I was trying to think about my education. I wasn't thinking about no kids. So when when that kind of crept up, it was like, as I said, it wasn't something I wanted, but I had to just step up. You handled it, yeah. 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 So the experience was different. I would like to know, obviously, from you, just where, as I said, those fears fears. and that pressure... Yeah, that, that pressure because you obviously mentioned that as yeah, well. Yeah, that, yeah, where, what is where's your head? So at? I guess like in sense of fear, obviously early on, just becoming a parent, like you just you don't know what's gonna happen. But I guess now we're, we're in a more comfortable space. Like the whole idea of fear, it's just about I guess failing. You don't want to let your family down. Mm. I think that's what it was for me personally. Like I don't want my child to want things and. I don't want my partner to feel like, oh, things are not going to plan or there's, we're going to lose the house or mm. whatever. Like, I never want to get to that point. So I guess that's where my fear was coming from. Yeah. So I was thinking, do I get a full-time job just to be a bit secure and have a like, steady income? <clears throat> or, yeah, you know. <laughs> but to me, you could lose your, your steady income job anytime, mm. like mm. just if you're freelancing or contracting. But that was my main fear was just to support the family. Yeah. If, if I can't do that, what happens next? I'm actually interested as well because why do you think that that pressure is on? Why do you why do you put that pressure on yourself so much? I, I, I only I, I purely think it's because of what I see growing up, my mm. family, my, my dad, my father, my uncles, mm. granddad. They were always people in the family that was the one that was kind of controlling things, not controlling, but they were the breadwinners of yeah. the family, and they was taking control and ownership of their family. Mm. So I think that's I think from a young age that's what I've seen, and I thought. That looks correct to me. This is, mm. and especially when, when we had like the birth happened and everything, I wanted to do these things. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't so much pressure. It was like I actually w- want to do all these things. Because before that, I was very selfish. Mm. I was very very selfish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, no, I wasn't no, about no. sharing like none of this stuff. But as soon as all this happened, like I wanted to take, take mm. ownership. I wanted to go and you know buy this or buy that. Mm. You need the crib. I'm going to buy it today. Like, I wanted to do that. It's very interesting that you said that, like, oh, that your like your uncles now were the breadwinners. Mm. And fun enough, in my family, we didn't. Again, some things are different. It's nice to see that, like, in my my parents, they kind of even right. with 
breadwinning. Right. Like, and even my godmother and my godfather, right. on all their partners and that, they actually quite evened out. Like, okay. they both were, nobody works from home or nothing like that. Um, so it's very interesting that you said that. But at the same time, I still have the same feeling as you that okay. if I was to have a kid someday, <laughs> I looked in the sky looking for it <laughs> I would see it as I have to step up to to be the breadwinner not right. to not that I have to yep. not to say I'm not saying my partner don't work yep. or nothing like that but I feel like you've done a lot yeah like you've done your 60 or yeah. 60 hours overtime yeah, yeah, for yeah, a long yeah. time like it's like you know what let me take the rest yeah. from you and it's interesting that you you have that does she work yeah, now was, actually yeah, yeah, yeah she's like she's been working like she works part-time yeah, now yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so when they, but thankfully where she works, they've got a crash there. So she oh, takes a little oh, one with nice, him. Nice. She gets to check up on him like every now and then. But so, yeah, nice. it was, it was like, because of, I saw what she went through. Mm. I was like, there's no way on earth I can walk away from this. And mm. you carry on taking responsibility. That like, it didn't make sense in my head. Mm. But I was happy, right. happy to put my money elsewhere and buy things that we need to have and stuff like that. That's interesting. Mm. Um, let me I'll give my <clears throat> my my two cents yeah, of nothing <laughs> um, I do have I, I've actually had a fear about ki having kids in the first place to be honest with you again I'm a very people know me I'm a very strategic and planned out person um, I did get to do Simon's dream I got to get my job buy my property right. I'm financially stable God willing touching tables everything all right mm -hmm. um, but um <laughs> I'm, so if anything, I'm ready for family. Someone say, "Oh yeah, you have a baby." It's like, yeah, yeah. it's not fun. it's not a finance thing yeah, to me. Even, yeah. But actually, I do contracts, so that is something mm. I'm still juggling, thinking about. Well, what do I do? Mm -hmm. um, but I do have a fear about having kids, and it's never actually been about finance. Well, now it's not about finance, but it's mostly been about: Am I enough? Yeah, yeah. Will I be able to do enough? I've been, I've, unless yeah, the fear actually travels on to being a husband as well, a partner. Mm -hmm. Am I enough as a partner, mm -hmm. or am I enough to be a husband? I've always seen, oh yeah, I'm a good man, or I'm a good friend, or I'm a good boyfriend, but I've never seen actually, am I enough to be a, a husband? Yeah, and, it's, and it's a journey yeah. I've had to take, mm -hmm. and you don't know as as you have kind of said, yeah. you don't know until you, you have to step it up, <laughs> and then you realize, no, nah, man's that, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like actually, these two are actually great fathers as as to to their children, and you can see it's. It's almost in your DNA because I see I know some people that I, I meet them and I'm like, right, you got kids? Like I'll, I'll speak to them for like a year or two, and it's like, yeah, yeah so I got um, yeah, I was just with my little one. I was like, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I've known yeah, you yeah. for a couple of years. I know you had a little one, but actually, with you lot, Simon, yeah. I've known for a time, and he's always been yeah. with his kid and with you. Actually, all the times I've met you up on the bus, and that is like, let me check with the wife if he's cool, or <laughs> yeah. let me check him. and then he's actually with the kid, and kids give me some dirty looks, and you know, it's it's. It's it's different. There's different levels to this kind yeah. of thing. Um, to being part of that life, and I've, yeah. that's what I imagine myself. I imagine myself being like usual, like yeah, being yeah. a full part of the the, the family, and yeah. and given like I do believe I have yeah. to step up. This is my responsibility. Right. This is my this is how I was brought up, and not just because of how I was brought up. But it's just uh, uh, it's not even about me. Yeah, that's it's it. not about oh not about I believe I need to be that yeah. so I can so I can tick mm -hmm. off the the man yeah. box actually. A kid deserves the two parents, yeah. Yeah. and that's what we got in a sense. So that I, I can say that is a massive blessing, and okay. it was the balance of my parents, my mum and dad, being there to do the different things and pick mm -hmm. up when one's ill, or all these kind of things. That was a big. I saw that, right. and that was what made me think. Actually, yeah, this is this is a unit. Is you know, you never see mum without dad, you never see dad without mum. Yeah. You yeah. never never get cussed by one and not yeah, cussed yeah. by the other. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a unit, and that's and that 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 stuck with me. Right. And that also created a fear in me. Yeah. Because then I'm like, bro, I'm a very selfish person. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live up to that now. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, and I don't have siblings and I don't want siblings. Yeah. I never want siblings. Yeah. So I'm like, eesh, okay, so you don't want siblings. You don't worry. And you've never really been in like the whole relationship type, mm -hmm. but now you're, you're in one. And it's like, how do you transfer from this from to that. that? Yeah. And you know what it is? As you lot have done, two feet, the two yeah. feet in. You didn't step down. You didn't say, you know well, what? We weren't technically feet in. It was something else. In there. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, hey, hey. He um, 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 my toes. Stay protected. <laughs> um, but yeah, you lot put your both feet in. And, and, and I want to be that same kind of person. So if anything, having you lot around and talking about this, is, is, yeah. it's inspiring um, to, to hear it and see, and see fathers like you ain't even complained. 
well, you did complain <laughs> a little bit, but it's it's not even actually because of, like I know Simon again, yep. and even when he stopped Boko at the first, just, he just felt that like that's actually a part of him. But he didn't uh, even say mm. that was like a separation. Like, oh yeah, mm. man got kids in him and mm. just has to do with what he has to do. <laughs> but he actually like, no, this is my family. He spends yeah. most of his time with his kids, so mm. it's beautiful to nice. see that. It just comes again. It just all <clears throat> comes down to, and I don't want anyone to hear this and think that the position that they're in, whether they're not in heavily involved in their kids' lives, like. But for me anyway, it's about my family values and what I believe in and what I think is right. And obviously, if you're in a situation where, unfortunately, you can't be in your child's life because of certain circumstances, then that's just something that you have to deal with. But what I would always say and what Craig actually mentioned earlier is that try and think of it as a relationship that you need to build with your child, your child yeah. as much as possible, because you got to think less from a selfish perspective and think about them they are now a person they were brought into this world whether they liked it or not like yeah, it weren't their no fault choice. and it's now like <clears throat> imagine how they're gonna then be raised or be or grow up without that complete family unit. i'm not saying they're not gonna have a family unit because mm. they may have their mother in their lives they may be raised by their grandparents or whatever so they're still gonna have a family unit but essentially it won't be complete because the dad won't be around right so it's just thinking about how how would you see your child being raised without that full family unit in place? And to be honest, I think that going back to one of the things I said is a lot of the time that's where kids get into trouble because they may be searching for that thing that's missing that in their life. Mm -hmm. And they start looking in the wrong places. They start looking at the people that they're seeing on the streets and rear tear tear thinking, okay, these are the people or the man that I need to look up to. Mm. I'm going to follow in his footsteps. And that's when they get taken advantage of. And that's when things get into trouble. You understand? Key, key piece that you're saying there, actually, one is obviously <clears throat> giving time to your kid. Um, and that's, that being from both parents, because they need love from both kind of parents, male and female. And or whichever way, it doesn't matter. It's both parents is necessary. It's a unit. It's like a, they say a village to bring up a child. A key part that I want to interject in is actually you said um, juggling bills. Juggling, yeah. Now I can't like I've got a lot of friends who this is a very key part juggling work mm -hmm. and work hours mm -hmm. yeah. and overtime and mm -hmm. like especially those that are single parents yeah. how do they do all of that yeah. and um, I watch a lot of them just do so much work and I'm like and then when they when they're not working then they spend some time with the kid yeah. make sure they go yeah. to school come mm -hmm. back but then the rest of it they want they need to recharge yeah, they need yeah, to yeah, reset so they go drink or they go out with their yeah. friends. <laughs> I always sometimes question, are you spending enough time with your kid? Mm. Now, I'm not trying to judge. Mm. I'm, not a per I'm not a parent at all. But actually, with my parents, they were from, they started from the bottom, yeah. like reusing nappies kind of thing, all the way to having, getting a house and stuff yeah. like that and sending me away for them to make more money to then get a house. Yeah. They went through the, the top to the bottom, but the bottom to the top, sorry. And, but in all honesty, the one thing I always had, it wasn't that I had an abundance of stuff. They gave me the stuff when they couldn't afford it, but... Mm. It was the fact that they gave me time. Mm. Time was just the key thing that they gave. And that is one thing that I, I, I actually almost watch other, my friends, my friends and their kids. And I'm yeah. like, rah, I'm sorry for you. Because actually you're not getting her time. Yeah. You know, actually, if anything, I'm getting more of your time. Like you go to school and you just, she just thinks that's enough. Yeah. Or he thinks that's enough. But actually you deserve real time. Yeah. And sometimes I know you are working for bills and, yeah. and all mm. these produce and all these kind of things. <clears throat> you know what? If you have enough to, to, live i would say spend the rest of it with, on time, time with i them. guess that's where my mind's at at the moment mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. more about it's not so much how much money i'm making it's more about okay i've got things covered mm -hmm. the rest of the time is like family time that's mm -hmm. that's where my mind's at the moment not saying that it might not change but yeah, that's yeah. where it's right now that's mm -hmm. interesting actually because I, now that i'm thinking about it, is like even though some people are around for their kids are they really present, present. in their yeah, lives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Because you're saying that they could be, fair enough, again, it's all down to mindset as well. Mm -hmm. They may be in the, the, the mindset of, I have a child, now I need to step up, I need to work like how many odd hours in a week. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're working so hard to try and provide for your child. They are mm -hmm. not even around you're for your around. child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, they're still going to go down that avenue of yeah. looking for an actual father figure because yeah, yeah. you're their dad, but you're actually not around yeah. because yeah. you're working so hard. Yeah. And I've, Funny thing is, I've seen a lot of this stuff in. Oh, what was I watching? You Some see TV. It on every TV show. I saw it on a TV program, yeah. no, like Wife Swap or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you there was a man the that time. was rich. He's a rich guy yeah, making yeah. all this money, doing yeah. all this work. And 
He's in the room with his daughter and the daughter don't even want to chat to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, That's your child, bro. Yeah. How your child don't want to chat to you? He's like, yeah. yeah, I'm working hard to provide for her. I bought her a pony and all these yeah. things. Yeah, but she don't, she don't respect you, bro. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're not there. You're not Do you understand what I'm That's saying? It, yeah. So I think it's That's important it. to know, again, for our listeners, it's about being present as well. Yeah. That's uh, another yeah. important thing is just being present. Oh, yeah, we're, not, we're not trying to bash. Let me tell you something. Yeah, go on. Sorry. I recently found out, yeah, like, I think about two weeks ago, that my mother didn't work for 15 years. So I recently found that out. So yeah. what all she was doing... Where was you, fam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, where was I? Like? Obviously, I didn't, have, I didn't have a clue what was going on. But she was just... She looked after us. Like, me, my brother, and my sister. For straight 15 mm. years. Didn't work. All this time, me growing up, I had no clue. Yeah. So what did you... I don't I, understand. Where did you think... Obviously, I was, <laughs> obviously I, was, I was doing my stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, what I, mean, like, I had my day today, didn't it? I wasn't paying attention to whatsoever. Well, 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 like. You know, I come home, there was always food and... Yeah. There was Lego. I and didn't think, <laughs> it didn't hit me until like... I literally was just speaking about it a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, I swear you was working at this place. <laughs> so she was like, no, I, I wasn't working yeah. at this point in time. But to me, I thought she was working at this like, That's crazy. company. But... That I've just yeah, fifteen years like she didn't work for fifteen. So that means my father was doing everything for mm. those fifteen years mm. for three kids and and his wife. Was he was he around a lot? Yeah, my, he well he was working night well nine to five. That's what it was. But he, he was, was no he was he was present. He was definitely present like oh. on the, every other week going swimming with doing this like he was oh, that activity yeah. guy. My dad was the same thing. Like sometimes it'll be like he works seven days in a week and you know what seven days is it's, yeah. it's four week cuz mm. yeah. <laughs> but, but um evenings <laughs> evenings are always like boom yeah. downtime dinner yeah. time stuff like that and then when we get to go out we're going out together yeah. doing things together get he always gets me the stuff I get to build he'll build stuff together with yeah. me. Mm. Um and again, well, we're not trying to, again, for listeners, this is not, we're not trying to, like some people are listening, like, mm. but if it's hard out here, I have to work yeah. like this, but you know yeah, what, we're not trying to bash you, like you do what you need to do, but we're just saying when you get the chance to be present at this small moment, maybe you put down the phone, you don't watch your yeah. Netflix, mm. just yeah. spend a spend bit of time. time. It means, it's, it means, though, it doesn't seem like you're changing the world, but it means the world to mm. them, yeah, of because course. you are their world, that's of all course. it, that's all it is. And I, I don't have kids, but that's how it felt to me with my parents. Right. Um, and it's crazy about you, mm. the, the thing that you mentioned about your mum, actually, yeah. because I've heard quite a lot of in this day and age that obviously there's the whole oh yeah breadwinner yeah, and the man and then yeah. there's this equality thing where everyone's mm. half half. But actually, I've actually heard quite a few of my even my mum's old, um, old colleagues right. have gone to the point of some of them are in higher paid jobs, both yeah, of them. Yeah, and they say, and the, the woman just says, "I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> I don't want to work anymore. Yeah, I, I just I just want a thing." And then the man just so, says, "Okay." Yeah, I'll I'll step up mm. to step up provide to that, yeah, and yeah, yeah. then they'll be yeah. the kid. So I I, I but and, I, and even for me, um, we've talked about a podcast about financial freedom mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And the whole point I of me wanting to even contract or or freelance is actually to get to the point where actually you're freeing up more and more, more of your time, time, where there's less yeah. work and there's more mm. time because yeah. time is everything, and yeah, that's why I really want to be able to spend with um my kid um yeah. my kids yeah. and. My family, even my parents now, it doesn't as as a kid and having kids, it's both yeah. sides. That's why I go to St. Lucia so often, for example, right. because I want to spend time with my parents. Time, time is everything. It's yeah. not just not about the money. I don't know if I uh just what you that that scenario that you spoke about where you said, okay, there's two partners together, they both got a kid, and then one of them says, Okay, I don't want to work anymore, whatever. So the other one yeah. says, Cool, I'm gonna be a man step up or whatever. Yeah. Not trying to be funny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of think that's a little bit selfish. <laughs> go on, go on. Not, not for the fact yeah. that okay, yeah. he, he's done his thing and he's gonna step up, cool. Yeah. But that means you're team. working those extra hours, which means you're losing that time. And for me, time yeah. is the most valuable thing. Yeah. So now you're gaining mo- the 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 partner, one of the partners. I'm not gonna say the woman, mm-hmm. but one of the partners is taking more time mm-hmm. to then spend time with the kids and bring them up. Yeah. Meantime. You're spending all your time just earning money, time, so you're yeah. losing the value in what you really want, which is right. that family value. Like, yeah. that's, I think that's a little bit. I, I, that's I, what I, I think. Yeah, I, think no, I completely get what because the way, maybe the way I said it was maybe a bit weird because it's not like oh yeah, the, the kid was like one or two years old and he's like, you know what, fam, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you see your time with your kid, I'm taking that. Yeah. It's not like that. It was more like um, she got pregnant, and then they obviously they have the. Um, Maternity, maternity. maternity, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after they go back to work, mm. and it's like it's just not working for them. <clears throat> They're just not feeling it. Too. And yeah, it's still, but in that sense, it's still the same thing. Mm. It's a discussion, though. Yeah, in yeah, all yeah, honesty. Yeah. Um, 
it's a discussion in that sense. You don't just say, oh, yeah, you know, I don't want to work no mm-hmm. more and I'm out. It's like, actually, we got to discuss yeah, it because yeah, yeah. this is a bit more my time. Or maybe you can do something at home. So mm-hmm. like, I know like yeah, yeah, a 100%. colleague of mine that um, <laughs> he contracts <clears throat> and then I saw he yeah. said he has like three kids. He said, oh, so what's your wife? And I was like, oh, my wife was um, with the kids all the time. Mm. Um, he said, oh, does she work at all? She said, actually, yeah, she started baking just before she had the first kid. Right. Mm. And funny enough, that took off. Right. So she just keeps doing that. So mm. she actually makes a bit of side money baking yeah. while watching the kids. Yeah. And the kids are at school. So she, she actually gets to do a lot around the right. house anyway mm. and do her little side hustle. And I get to contract and contract allows me to take times off of take half term off. and mm-hmm. holidays. So actually it works out. Works it worked that. out well. And I said, that's interesting. And the reason why I was like kind of blown away by that, because I said, this is what the life kind of life I would like, where you get mm. to work, take yeah, this kind of time. But I said to him, <clears throat> funny enough, we always think, oh yeah, when we get into it, then we will do it. But funny enough, this, he said, as he said, he was contracting and she was starting her side hustle before she had the, even the first kid. kid mm. yeah. It's a foundation you build yeah. before you've even had the kid. Yeah. So again, people need to be quite intentional about what, what, how you use your time. Mm. Yeah. Intentional about how you use your time. Don't just spend it on all this mm-hmm. work and all this like lavish stuff. Step up when you need to. Yeah. Set a foundation for yourself for what you want. And again, if you had a nice life with your family or you want to change how your families have been brought up, be intentional about mm. it. You know what? I don't want the same thing for my kids. Or I would like both partners <clears throat> choose the right kind of partner. Not choose the right kind of partner. Everyone wants the right <laughs> yeah, kind yeah, of partner. Yeah. But you know, you know the values that you you will you will seek. But, yeah. Don't 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 second guess yourself. Don't cheap cheap out yourself. Like get yourself the right partner. Get yourself. The right kind of job get yourself value your time and mm. time will be able to that get might to be you. a nice little topic that we can talk about in another podcast actually <clears throat> just about relationships and how you ban it yeah, balance time. your time especially yeah. with a family as well mm-hmm. partnerships how you you coexist i guess yeah that might be a nice thing to to kind of talk about but um yeah i guess we can we can kind of wrap it up there yeah. generally what we do at the end of our podcast obviously <clears throat> before we or as we final our discussion is just to give a bit of food for thought and maybe just have something that we can take away from it or something yeah. that we think our listeners might be might be useful for them to, to take away just based on the discussion that we've had. Mm-hmm. So, Greg, do you want to go first? Um, don't allow your fears to run your life. Um, sometimes we do fear about marriage, relationships, kids, um, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what? As with everything, don't, put, don't be half-hearted about it. Go two feet in, step up. Do what you think. Put your your hundred percent in it. At least you always know that you you put your hundred percent. I think that's what I would leave off with on my part. Nice. I just want to um, before I even get into that, I just want to shout out to the, you know the baby mums man, <laughs> single yes, baby mothers like that just have kids and they're trying to balance Any out baby everything. Fathers there as well. Yeah, baby yeah. fathers yeah. as well. Yeah, but I guess you don't really hear too much of them, <clears throat> you know. But these single mothers out here they're just doing they're doing a lot yeah so yeah definitely the, so, to the single, single mother. actually I don't, I don't know any fathers or none so yeah definitely mm-hmm. single mothers you lot do a lot so keep doing it keep driving seriously yeah that's just um yeah i guess how, how can i wrap this up i guess mainly fathers just keep doing what you're doing you know just keep striving and try and working for the best keeping your family together but those who can't do that you know i guess as you said earlier on craig like maybe it might be five ten years at some point try and reconnect mm-hmm. and yeah that's what i'm gonna end on before you lot finish yeah because i realized i said oh you said shout out the baby mothers yeah. then i said shout out the baby fathers but then you might be taking it what my baby the baby fa- no 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 i'm talking about when I have the baby, no, 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 i don't want to get fired yet let me hey just let me address this when i said shout out the baby fathers i meant the ones that are like single single, single dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dads. sorry single shout dads. out the single dads yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <clears> cool. yeah, so my last uh food for thought i guess is understand that you don't need to put that pressure on yourself and mm. even though you may think that you're not ready Trust me, you're ready. You're always, you're always going to be in a situation where you're going to need to eventually make a judgment call and you're never going to be prepared for it. And I just think don't put that pressure on yourself to think, am I ready to take on that situation or not? When that situation comes, you'll know. As they say, no challenges above us. God gave us everything that we needed. So make sure you step up to it. Man. 
Well, just thinking about it, I was trying to reconnect my mumsy's story. In it, but, <laughs> 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 15 years of not working. Man's so trying to I'm, still I'm, I'm it, it out. So, obviously, my sister's a lot older than I am. So, it was when I was zero to five mm. is when that was her last five years of mm. not working. Mm. That's why I most probably didn't. She was like, How you don't know about that? I'm like, Your mom's like, like 15, man's like 15 years old. Like, Mom's like, What do you do? Like, I go to the supermarket for your food. Oh, you work in the supermarket? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> like, trying to figure it out. Like, but yeah. Um, Michael, thank nice. you for, yeah, thanks Mike. for having me, guys. Yeah, no, it was good to have you. Um, as you know, we love to hear other people's stories. Baby fathers, baby mothers, single mothers, single fathers. You know, I'm just going to cover everything on <laughs> basis. Um, we love to hear your story. Um, we love to hear any contradictions you may have, with anything that you agree with, anything that, any thoughts that maybe came in your head. Share it with us, email us. You could be anonymous, it could be video, it could be pictures, anything. Just, we're here to listen, we're here to talk about it, and we're here to just be open and honest about everything that we have in our heads because it's all valid. So thank you for listening as usual. Make sure you like, share all of that and check out Michael Harper if you need a logo. The, what, come, yes, Michael, yes, just say yes. what you do, man. Say I'll what do you everything, do. man. Anything graphic related, That's I'm it. there. That's this nice That's and simple. So support, man. Support the family, innit? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, take it easy, everyone. Peace out. Yes. Peace.